Right, but they you, instantly pull right up on them like, hold on, yeah, don't don't be talking about our son like that and right. what they do. Right, Ti said you said pull up on me. He said come out, come out here. We'll see you if you want to leave. You you'll be the one. You know what I mean? Yeah. He said just pull up. Yeah, pull he up. said you shouldn't have never went at his kids, right, but at the same right. time, his kids was out of line. The kids were completely out Why of line. Why would they too? even jump in grown folks' business? I at mean, the end of the day, we yeah. all know for a fact if you raise it. People sit there and look at you for being the person who talk out. They're going to tell you, man, keep your son in line, man. Yep. And that's the thing. They'd be calling. they be talking a whole lot of stuff. Once you put it out there, you put it out there. And, you know, you definitely do need to know where to draw the line because the kids are wrong. But, you know, as a parent, it's like you got to shut it down, like, at some point. You just can't be talking reckless like that. And T.I. only drove over there because he knew. T.I. know for a fact that he'll instantly, he'll get out on Charleston White. Uh -huh. T.I. got too many security and too many people that's going to stand around and make sure don't nobody run up on him while he instantly getting down on Charleston White. And as you can see, they not playing no games, man. T.I. instantly told everybody from Atlanta, hey, y'all. Don't let Charleston White pull up out here and don't let me know that he out here. Y'all got to really pay attention to that, man, because that's something that everybody can really take notes on, man, and take heed to because this is a revolving door, man, and we know for a fact that Shorty and them, they tweak, but at the same time, we know for a fact that they instantly know for a fact that they're going to instantly get out on Charleston White in the door, and people sitting back looking like, why would Shorty and them even jump in it? Shorty and them jumped in it because they daddy and them sitting back saying, like, y'all can do whatever y'all want to do, and I don't blame them. Because right. I tell my kids, y'all can do whatever y'all want to do. But you got to understand, when they ran up on Charleston White, it was over with, y'all. And you got to understand what's really going on. Yeah, I mean, they say T.I. needs to step up and be a better father. Charleston White was saying that he wants the he wants the – King and Tootie to go get put away and get straight because their father wasn't a figure that they should have. And like, I guess T.I. got out early somehow, which is a whole nother story. Yeah, he and only he got was, out early. T.I. got out early because he had a lot of he had money. A lot of collection money. Of stuff yeah, so he, he actually put up a lot of stuff mm -hmm. so that he can be able to get out. Right. Like, they right. said that he didn't snitch on nobody, but right. his, they said their son out of line. Right. But they say that T.I. also is part of, like, a program to help kids. Yeah. And so Charleston White's calling out T.I. and being like, listen, you need to talk to your own kid. You know what I mean? Get him straight. Like, cause, because something needs – can't be doing that. You can't be talking stuff about nobody's kids, too. And if you right. really pay attention to it, the way that they approached the situation, it was untimely. Like, when y'all really look at it, man – like they said, they feel that Charleston White should have approached the parents like without the disrespect. Because when you sit there and instantly go in on one of the family members, you real life gotta be cautious because they gonna instantly come right back at you. We all know for a fact that <coughs> T.I. son King not going. At the end of the day, mm -hmm. we know for a fact that this is a revolving door. Right, right. You can't let your kid break other people's windows and then when they want to beat them up, you know, you as a, you step up as a dad. It's too late. Like, you've got to you gotta do it ahead. And it's not easy. But at the same time, I mean, it's crazy. And we know this. Yeah, Boosie said him and T.I. got a show coming soon. Um they, Boosie tried to do the show in Chicago, but they canceled they showed, it. Yeah, they canceled it. But he's got something coming up. He's got two things coming up. So Yeah, and you know for a fact Charleston White going to be there, boy. I'm sure. Boy, the way they just pulled up on Charleston White, it's over with, y'all. So I want y'all to really be mindful and take heed to what's going on. Like, we really hit the like button if you're new to the channel. Subscribe. Yeah. On phone now. Subscribe because this is this major, man. And yeah, it's this great. going, hey, this is something that Charleston White gonna have to really regret, man. The kids are completely. Some of the kids are completely out of control, and you can't let a, your son, son go at a grown ass man. I mean, 
I don't know how old Charleston White is, but he's definitely old enough to be their, their father or beyond. You know what I mean? Yeah, so he can't he, do that. He was out of line by even saying anything responded right, to him right. because he not your age. But at the same time, as a grown man, I want to let y'all know, Shorty was out of line. Right, right. Shorty tweaked. Yeah. King and Tootie should have shut their mouth yeah. and not said nothing. Yeah, you got to leave that your parent, your father's own drama to himself. He'll deal with it. Like, at the end of the day, we know for a fact T.I. other son, he responded. He answered. We supposed to be at 3,500 people right mm -hmm. now, man. But at the same time, man, I want y'all to really pay attention to what's going on, man. Yeah. Hit the like button if you're new to the channel, man. Hey, subscribe to the channel, man. Hey, they said that this is something that they can't, ain't no going back. Ain't no Charleston White can't go back from this. No, no, there's no going back. He's gotten too many people involved and he's got Kanye involved too on top of it all. And it's like you're in deep water with this one. Yeah, it, it kind of put Boosie in the spot where he got the advantage because we all know for a fact that Boosie is the main one who's sitting there. Look, he looking at it like, you know what? Don't ever talk about my son Tootie Raw ever in your life because no. for, for the simple fact that I don't care what my son did. Right. My son right whatever he did. Right, right. But at the same time, you got to understand the respect level that was out of line. Right. Shorty and them jumped into some that it really could cost them a lot because Charleston White don't play. Right. I mean, at the end of the day, your kid is your kid, and they can be wrong, but they're always going to be right in the parents' eyes. You know what I mean? Like, there's some justification no matter what. They shouldn't have spoke on it, but they did, and he retaliated back as an adult to them, too, not just, like, reaching out to the parents being like, hey, get control of these these young men, you know what I mean? But he is making it out like, Charleston White's making it out like he now thinks that these the young men need help. Like they need attention. They, they need, need somebody to, be, to realize. straighten them out so that they don't end up in the wrong direction down the line. Yeah, because what Charleston White's saying, he's saying right. He's saying it right because if they come and let him like they're a grown man, he's going to treat them like a grown man. Right. I understand them on that. Right. Right. But they saying that Shorty and them was out of line, y'all. Right. Well, they keep going on, too. It's not just like this is one incident. They this got in like, the inbox and continuing. revealed the text, y'all. Yeah. They revealed the text messages, y'all. Yeah, it's crazy. Like The text message was T.I. son yeah. going at Charleston White on Instagram. Yeah. Then he texted them on his iPhone and told them, like, boy, I told you. I got you, boy. I know mm -hmm. everywhere you be at, boy. Well, these days it's so easy to un not even realize your location is on everything else. Like at the end of the day, boy, we know for a fact that it's a lot of people. Shout out to Notes. Hey, Notes 102, boy. Hey, we know for a fact everything that went on. Boosie don't play about his son, man. And that's a fact. Facts. Boosie do not play about his son. No, he's, he's already proven it. Y'all know. Every time Boosie go through anything with his son, yeah, it get personal. And the son's always right. It don't mm -hmm. matter. The son's always right. This song we all can really take no song and really look at because this can really affect everybody in this. And what they saying? Let's read some comments. All right, so. The children should go to their parents first um, for protocol or chain of command. And that's true though. I mean, if they talk to their, if they talk to them about it and maybe made this like a closed subject thing, they wouldn't have everyone up in their business right now, but they put it out there for everyone to know. And yeah. here it is. There yeah. it is. And a lot of people saying that Charleston White, what they say? Um, Charleston White was wrong because he was referring, he's like, I'll go George Zimmerman on him, like it's mm -hmm. Trayvon Martin. Yeah, and that's but... completely wrong. I mean, that was a whole nother thing. And that's like, that's a real hurtful thing to you to talk about in the community. You know yeah. what I mean? You're just gonna do that? Like what? It's and and the worst part of it all is 
George Zimmerman meant it, wrong yeah, about but, it, too. Yeah, but at the same time, we all know for a fact that Boosie them only doing what they told, like, real life. They told Boosie, like, yeah, Charleston White going to be right there. Right. They right. pulled right up on him at that convention. Yeah, it was they over knew exactly with. where he was. Charleston White still got to make his money. Of course. And he'd be carrying, he, he'd be he, like, be I'm going to pepper, pepper spray them. I'm gonna pepper spray you, and that's why that's why King was saying that would be would just fight you hands on if you put that pepper spray down. But at the end of the day, like those those boys are kind of tiny. Do yeah. they fight with their hands? And Charleston yeah. White was saying like, for if you didn't eat for a couple days, would you be fine to fight? Like, are you really like? Don't be talking about my brother. We got people behind us. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's crazy because it. At the end of the day, they just let them talk completely reckless. Charleston White needs to definitely find out his role in society because what he's doing right now, it's like he's in between the worlds. Like he's in between. And this really like, and everybody said, "Where's Major?" You feel right, me? Right, right. This is Ti. He son already King. he he responded. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we already know for a fact what happened, man. And people sitting there saying Charleston White only pulled up because they tested him. When they tested him, it was over with, man. You got to really pay attention to that. And Boosie said he wasn't going. Boosie said he wasn't going from the beginning. Like, y'all really got to understand, man. This something that ain't nobody think that Charleston White was going to realize open his mouth and say something out of pocket. But at the same time, nobody knew that. T.I. son was going to instantly run up on, like, run up and try to say anything to Charleston White about what happened. Yeah, they never expected that. And the way that they're talking about it, like, they're not even addressing each other individually. They're going to the internet, posting this stuff and, and like, that, like, and keyboard, all, behind the keyboard. Yeah, but you got to understand, on. by them pulling up on Charleston White, it changed the whole game because... They know his every whereabouts. And you got to understand, right. people around him dropping locations, man. Right. This is something that we all could take notes on. In the past, how many people we know got the locations dropped on them? I mean, some. A lot of people. Yeah. Like, you really got to pay attention to this. And Boosie walking around real life. Look at Boosie. Look at him. I know y'all see him. He looking. He looking for him. Y'all got to pay attention to it. Boosie. Knew exactly where he was gonna be at. He walking around looking for him with jewelry on, so he don't even care about nothing that happened. If a link break or anything, Ti pulling right up. Y'all gotta look at this, man. These like they sons was out of line, but at the same time, it escalated to some that they didn't think it was gonna escalate to. I mean, it's escalating pretty fast, like fire at this point right now because. It just keeps going and going, and there's more and more. And the ki the kids are just talking completely reckless. It's like, it's funny. It's funny to see them like that, but it's sad. It's sad because keep your kids in line. Yeah. Tell your kids to stay off the internet talking about grown men. Yeah. Respond to anything that happened with y'all with a grown man. I mean, that's the thing, because at the end of the day, those two – young men put these three grown men in a big huge in a triangle of of uh drama i mean and then it's man it put them in a whole bunch like it really it really messed everything up because yeah. now charleston white sitting there he just charleston white just called the people on them boy mm -hmm. he just called the people on the kids he called the people and told them, y'all need to start a Rico with Boosie and what happened with Duke. That's because how it started. That's how it started. Yeah. And then he ended up saying, like, T.I. want to jump in this. I got something for T.I., but T.I. ain't going. You got to understand, y'all see T.I., he pulling right up. I mean, we got to remember, too, though, people or parents will do, most of them will do anything for their kids. And when it comes to their kids, that's when it makes them, like, at the – no other level, you know what I mean, when it comes down to it. So, of course, T.I. and Boosie's going to respond. It's going to be a whole different response now because it's not just responding to Charleston White attacking them. It's 
you're attacking our kid and to them even whether they're grown men or not they're still their kid you know yeah. that's what i'm saying at the end of the day it's the respect level yeah you respect their mans yeah I don't care what they went through. You don't bring up their past. No. You don't bring up what they went through. No. And they're all grown ass men. And it was like he was wrong about saying about the about that reference. The Trayvon Martin referring to himself as George. Yeah, Taylor. he, he that can. was messed up. That was completely messed up. I mean, we talk about it all the time about like helping each other instead of hurting each other. And that's just like that's a sore spot. Hey, that's really a big, like that's a really big X in the game because if y'all pay attention to, I know they playing with the numbers, man. Hey, if you're new to the channel, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button for more breaking details on Ti and Boosie. Man, they said that Ti and Boosie clicked up, y'all. They said that Ti just instantly pulled right up. On Boosie, Boosie met him at the front door. Y'all gotta really look at this, man, because once T.I. pulled up, gee, y'all gotta look at the fact that he protecting Boosie. Like, I don't blame him for even doing what he did, but you gotta understand, man, they making Charleston White check in, y'all. And if you really pay attention to it, he out of line. As what they say, he had a line for talk for even going at somebody who younger than him in the door. Like y'all gotta really pay attention to it, and y'all gotta look at the fact he can't come to Louisiana. Charleston White can't come to Atlanta. Y'all gotta really pay attention to what's going on, man. Ti is from Atlanta. Boosie is in Atlanta, and Boosie is from Louisiana. Y'all got to really look at what's really going on. And this something that we all can take no song, take heed to, because by them even teaming up on him, he was out of line when he said he was going to either send him up or send him to the, to the feds. You got to understand, man. You never tell no other man you're going to get his son booked. You will never do that. You can't. At the end of the day, we know for a fact you can't do that. Rule number one, no telling on the guys. We all know this. And the DA and the feds, they looking at it like, man, Charleston White keep calling us. I mean, it's crazy because it initially started with Charleston White talking about Boosie and get going to get picked up or whatever, whatever. And then all of a sudden, Tootie and King, T.I.'s son King, started like responding back you know funny responding on through the internet to each other and saying like run you know come up we'll we'll get you whatever whatever and then somewhere along the line what um they they found i guess they were in west west dallas and charleston white bumped into king and tootie and they somewhere along the line had a piece with them, so it sounds like so. Charleston White called called the five zero, and they came, and he was like, in the video, you know, like, oh, thank you, Mister Police, you know. I yeah, mean, it really led him to the fact where he really was put in an uncomfortable position because now Charleston White can't go nowhere, right? Because right. they put them people on you, boy. You better fall back, boy. They already put the people on you, so you can't really say too much or even do too much. You you have to send somebody out to go to the store for you, man, just because you tweaking, man. Yeah, I mean, and that's the last thing that anybody wants to do, obviously. But, like, between – they just keep – it's a cycle of stuff that they go keep going back and forth between all of them. It's like they be they be throwing out, you know, old man Charleston White, all this stuff about him, and then he throws back about the about you know going responding to like the kids as kids, and then also responding to Ti and to Boosie, like responding to them, um, like as calling out. You know, like a, a little kid's parent, but but at the end of the day, you know, he he's like he's getting involved with 
with a lot of different people. And it is completely out of line for them to address the kids. It, But like a couple of weeks ago, Boosie was talking about uh, Wade's son. The, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. because the what's the name now? Right. They instantly, they instantly came at T.I. And T.I. looked at like, hold on. 